February 8th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Exodus chapters 19 and 20 from the Old Testament. In the third month after the Israelites went out from the land of Egypt, on the very day they came to the desert of Sinai, after they journeyed from Rephidim, they came to the desert of Sinai, and they camped in the desert. Israel camped there in front of the mountain. Moses went up to God, and the Lord called to him from the mountain. Thus she will tell the house of Jacob, and declare to the people of Israel, You yourselves have seen what I did to Egypt, and how I lifted you on eagles' wings and brought you to myself. And now, if you will diligently listen to me, and keep my covenant, then you will be my special possession out of all the nations, for all the earth is mine. And you will be to me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words that you will speak to the Israelites. So Moses came and summoned to the elders of Israel. He set before them all these words that the Lord had commanded him. And all the people answered together, All that the Lord has commanded we will do. So Moses brought the words of the people back to the Lord. The Lord said to Moses, I am going to come to you in a dense cloud, so that the people may hear when I speak with you, and so that they will always believe in you. And Moses told the words of the people to the Lord. The Lord said to Moses, Go to the people and sanctify them today and tomorrow, and make them wash their clothes, and be ready for the third day. For on the third day the Lord will come down on Mount Sinai in the sight of all the people. You must set boundaries for the people all around, saying, Take heed to yourself not to go up on the mountain nor touch its edge. Whoever touches the mountain will surely be put to death. No hand will touch him, but he will surely be stoned or shot through, whether a beast or a human being. He must not live. When the ram's horn sounds a long blast, they may go up on the mountain. Then Moses went down from the mountain to the people and sanctified the people, and they washed their clothes. He said to the people, Be ready for the third day. Do not go near your wives. On the third day in the morning there was thunder and lightning and a dense cloud on the mountain and the sound of a very loud horn. All the people who were in the camp trembled. Moses brought the people out of the camp to meet God, and they took their place at the foot of the mountain. Now Mount Sinai was completely covered with smoke because the Lord had descended on it in a fire, and its smoke went up like the smoke of a great furnace, and the whole mountain shook violently. When the sound of the horn grew louder and louder, Moses was speaking, and God was answering him with a voice. The Lord came down on Mount Sinai, on the top of the mountain, and the Lord summoned Moses to the top of the mountain, and Moses went up. The Lord said to Moses, Go down and solemnly warn the people, lest they force their way through to the Lord to look, and many of them perish. Let the priests also who approach the Lord sanctify themselves, lest the Lord break through against them. Moses said to the Lord, The people are not able to come up to Mount Sinai because you solemnly warned us. Set boundaries for the mountain and set it apart. The Lord said to him, Go, get down and come up, and Aaron with you. But do not let the priest and the people force their way through to come up to the Lord, lest he break through against them. So Moses went down to the people and spoke to them. God spoke all these words. I, the Lord, am your God, who brought you from the land of Egypt, from the house of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself a carved image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is on the earth below, or that is in the water below. You shall not bow down to them or serve them, for I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, responding to the transgressions of fathers by dealing with the children to the third and fourth generation of those who reject me, and showing covenant faithfulness to a thousand generations of those who love me and keep my commandments. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain, for the Lord will not hold guiltless anyone who takes his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath and set it apart as holy. For six days you may labor and do all your work. But the seventh day is a Sabbath to the Lord your God. 
on it you shall not do any work you or your son or your daughter or your male servant or your female servant or your cattle or the resident foreigner who is in your gates for in six days the lord made the heavens and the earth and the sea and all that is in them and he rested on the seventh day Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and set it apart as holy. Honor your father and your mother, that you may live a long time in the land the Lord your God is giving to you. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife, nor his male servant, nor his female servant, nor his ox, nor his donkey, nor anything that belongs to your neighbor. All the people were seeing the thundering and the lightning and heard the sound of the horn and saw the mountain smoking. And when the people saw it, they trembled with fear and kept their distance. They said to Moses, you speak to us and we will listen, but do not let God speak with us lest we die. Moses said to the people, Do not fear, for God has come to test you, that the fear of him may be before you, so that you do not sin. The people kept their distance, but Moses drew near the thick darkness where God was. The Lord said to Moses, Thus you will tell the Israelites, You yourselves have seen that I have spoken with you from heaven. You must not make gods of silver alongside me, or make gods of gold for yourselves. You must make for me an altar made of earth, and you will sacrifice on it your burnt offerings and your peace offerings, your sheep and your cattle. In every place where I cause my name to be honored, I will come to you, and I will bless you. If you make me an altar of stone, you must not build it of stone shaped with tools, for if you use your tool on it, you have defiled it. And you must not go up by steps to my altar, so that your nakedness is not exposed. God, today I want to thank you for the structure that you've given us throughout the Bible. You've provided us structure, instructions, guideposts, guidelines, laws, all the ways that we need to live our life as your children. You know, reading the part about the Ten Commandments again, <sighs> this brings me back to how <laughs> how sinful we are and how much we we desperately need you and your forgiveness you know when it talks about murder you go on you know later on in the bible you talk about how it's not just physically murdering somebody that is against the commandment that that even if we have hatred towards somebody else um, that that's considered underneath that commandment and, it, and it's not just that to physically sleep with somebody else it's the fact that we had lust in our hearts to start with that that is part of that commandment and so god today i ask us to not be legalized christians where we take the letter of the law meaning do not murder and we can say that we've never sinned against that commandment because we've never physically killed anybody but let us as true christians uh, with new hearts remember the spirit of the law that you have given us that you have commanded us to love everyone in fact love everyone as ourselves so help us remember the spirit of these laws today as we go through through our lives uh, to keep our heart, hearts pure to keep our words um, kind and generous uh, to help us keep <laughs> most of our words inside of us uh, to keep our thoughts pure as we go throughout this day and our reflections of who you are, God, here on earth. I love you very much. In your son's name we pray. Amen.